caving to Russia's aggression, accepting its brazen attempts to redraw borders by force, to tear up the rule book that has made all of us more secure, that would have repercussions not only in Europe, but quite literally around the world. And so the message coming out of our meeting is this. Our collective resolve to support Ukraine is and will continue to be ironclad now, throughout the winter, and for as long as it takes for Ukraine to succeed. We will maintain and bolster our security, humanitarian, and economic support for Ukraine. NATO allies and partners have provided $40 billion in arms to Ukraine. More is on the way. The United States has contributed more than $19 billion in security assistance and nearly $15 billion in direct economic and humanitarian support. We'll also continue to ramp up costs on the Kremlin and those enabling President Putin's war. We welcome the European Union moving forward on its ninth sanctions package.